Hey everybody, it's Clarissa here in the limelight today. We have one of the men we love and we've been speaking to Ron Robertson for the last half hour. I mean, we've already done, I think, one and a half interviews uh, before I even push the go button, which is really, really kind of a cool thing because I get to know somebody really well. Now I know all the real questions that I want to ask him. We have a lot in common because, as you all know, I lived in Italy for 30 years and Ron is just back from Sardinia where he had some awesome um, exchanges and things for, I think, a little vacation, probably a working vacation as well. He can tell us a little bit more about that. But Ron Robinson has come out. First of all, he's a brand. He's been a, a brand in his own right for the last 40, 41 years that I know of. I don't want to give him any more years than <laughs> That I think it's about 40, 41 years, and he started out working as a sales. <laughs> started out working as a salesperson. Don't do the math. Don't do the math. Okay, well, started out working in sales at Fred Siegel. Everybody knows Fred Siegel, very, very famous uh, brand in his own right, and stores out in uh, Santa Monica. If I remember, there still was one, but mostly in California. Am I wrong when I say that? Wrong? Well, the the. The stores, I used to work for Fred between 68 and 78, right. and I, I ended up as a vice president of the company. I know. Currently, he owns none of the stores, and there, there's he sold the name to a, to another company, and they've since licensed some things out or however they've right, done however that. Right, however that works. But you're but still in our, the stores. Oh, my brand is Ron Robinson, and we, we, we're 41 years into it. And like I said, don't do the math, but... But it's it's really amazing because you wake up one morning and and it's 40 years already. And, you know, how does that happen? Because I was just hoping that my dream would come true 40 years ago and I would pull on my pants and go to work. And I've done it now. And, you know, thank goodness the dream did come true. It did come true. I will say it in a big way. And you have your own stores, do you not? I do. I have two stores, one on Melrose Avenue, where the original location of the Siegel store was. Right. And. Uh, that's 40 years ago. I opened that. And then I have, I've been in Santa Monica for 25 years. I have right. a store on fifth street between, uh, fourth and Santa Monica, between, uh, <laughs> Arizona and Santa Monica. Right. Ah. And, and, uh, it's, a, it's, it's, I call it a flagship that one. They're both around 6,000 square feet mm -hmm. and we do everything from, uh, fashion apparel for men and women and even children, like which all I children, started yeah. Yeah. And accessories. You've got accessories as well. We have beautiful accessories and jewelry. We have home accessories and design items. Um, and we do cosmetic and beauty, which is part of the conversation that we're going to have because that some years ago, about 20 years ago, I created my own fragrance, having had a cosmetic and beauty shop for 35 years right, now. Right. And, um, and that's blossomed into something really wonderful. And Why talk, fragrance? Why would you, with all of the other things you had going on, as if you didn't have enough to do, what, what would you have my, possessed you? And I love that you did. Don't get me wrong. What, are what, you my wife? Did I hear that? <laughs> it's, I, heard this, I heard this before somewhere. <laughs> But I mean, of all things, I would have thought maybe shoes, you know, something, hats. But what would what what was you know, the thought I, behind going very, toward fragrance? I, I, I'm driven. I'm driven by design and creativity. I, I really that's that's the first reason why I got into cosmetic and beauty. I didn't know truly, and I, and I'm not giving away anything. I didn't, I had to learn it. I didn't know anything about the ingredients inside the bottle. Mm -hmm. I knew how beautiful that bottle was. Right. I knew how beautiful this packaging was. It was stimulating to me. Certainly in fragrance, I remember uh, the way my grandfather smelled and what the cologne was that he used as many of us, you know, remember. My father many... was Old Spice. Remember that? <laughs> I, I do. And my Old father, Spice. My grand... My grandfather was Old Spice, but after he was Bay Rum. Okay. <laughs> then there wasn't there like Aqua Velvet or some damn thing it was called. Uh, 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 <laughs> there wasn't much for men back then, but now, I mean. That's a whole other thing. Right, right. <laughs> that's much later. Right. Aqua Velva. Boy, did they. Aqua Velva, right. Life. Yeah. Oh, boy. Anyway, back to, the, you know, you decide. So you love the packaging. But oh, anyway, I, I loved it. And I learned it. And I, and I found the more I learned about fragrance and learned about the product that was inside of the cosmetics and the skincare and what have you, that I enjoyed it more. Right. That it wasn't just, it wasn't just uh, 
the, the surface part. It was the internal part. And, and, and it all made sense to me. Okay. So and, as an entrepreneur, when you decide, okay, I'm going to go toward now, I think this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to, I'm going to start uh, it would work out in fragrance. Uh, what's the first, I wouldn't know where the first step is. I mean, maybe, you know, over, fly over to France. I mean, well, we'll now I know, now I know exactly what the steps are because I, I actually did. I of course bought fragrance from some of the best makers in the world, but I learned how to make fragrance two ways. One, I had hired a, a woman years ago, her name's Sarah Horowitz. And she came and worked for me. She was actually a, a young perfumer and she came and worked for me. She had a, a little uh, tool chest and in her tool chest was all these little fragrance oils. Right. And she, oh, I and love that. I hired, her, I hired her to work in my store, but she said, I really want to work with people and make custom fragrances for her, for them. And we have, you know, I'm fortunate because I built my business over years and I have people who I've just are dear people and they manage different parts of the store. And, and I've done it intentionally so that it gives me freedom to be able to find what else is stimulating to me so I can do the next thing. Right, I'm, right. I, I, I'm, I'm for better or worse. I, I keep moving. Right. I keep, I keep looking for the next thing. Right. Exactly. So, and, and uh, so I learned how, it's really a technical world about how you can you can smell fragrance and think it's easy, but there's one drop of this and a half a drop of that and right. two drops of the other, and somebody really has to know technically what. Well, the they have to be that. what they call a nose, right? Technical. I mean, really, exactly. it's more of being a nose a perfumer, because there are like three perfumer, different. Right, there are three different layers to a, a perfume, right? Am I correct? Top note, middle note, and base note. That's exactly, and, and it, it's like it's like learning how to smell wine and taste wine. And, and how beautiful that is once you mm -hmm. really learn it. Mm -hmm. It's much better and enjoyable that way than just gulping it down to exactly. get high. Exactly. That's so, right. Perfume, I made, I made our first perfume called If, communicating in 1999 with 100 women on the internet. It yeah, was I'm gonna never ask you done. how you went about that. And you know what? I'm gonna you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take a break right now because that's what I have okay. to do, unfortunately, because we do have to get our commercials in there. Um, but uh, everybody, we've been in the limelight. I've been in the limelight for the last hour. You've only been in the limelight for the last two, uh, six minutes with Ron Robinson. We are really um, just getting into the crux of the business, the entrepreneurial side of how, of how he has worked over the years. This is really, really great stuff. Don't go away, anybody. We are gonna be right back. Hey everybody, Clarissa here. I wanted to talk to you about audible.com and why? Well, you know, you can get countless amounts of books on audio. Just listen to them. Who has the time? I don't to stop and read all the books that I want to read, but you know, I'm always in the car. I'm always traveling either from here to from Phoenix to Las Vegas or out to San Diego, LA. I've got plenty of time in the car that I can be listening and learning or listening and enjoying at the same time. So I've decided to affiliate with Audible. It's what I love to do is listen and learn. So why don't you do the same? And They've got it in different languages. So it's not just English. I know there's Spanish and other languages as well that you can go in and pick all kinds of different titles, all kinds of different books and listen to them. And for me, I, again, love learning. It's the quickest way for me. It's the easiest way for me. It's the most affordable way for me. So go ahead, you can get a free trial. I'm gonna send you to clarissaburt.com slash audible. Go there now, you will not be sorry. All right, everybody, we're back in the limelight today. We've got Ron Robinson and very excited to have him. And he was talking about how he went from where he was in his stores doing really, really well. And then one day decided he was going to move into fragrance, which is, by the way, as we've just said, a whole nother can of worms. You're on now. It's your turn. <laughs> Thank you. You go. It was, it was, uh, I was saying that I made it in a way, I made my first fragrance in a way that nobody had made it before. And I, I don't have the time with you to go through it all, but I'm gonna just capsulize it very quickly. I came up with an idea, it was 1999, the internet was just starting, there wasn't a good business model, people didn't know how to really sell on the internet or not, mm -hmm. but I knew that I had had customers on the internet and I was selling some fragrance on the internet in 1999, I couldn't believe it. And I thought to myself, how, as a business person, how am I going to keep this customer coming back? Because right now I have the hot fragrance, right. but what about tomorrow when they want a new one? Okay. And I 
I engaged a hundred of these customers, which I didn't know their names. I didn't know if they were male or female. I didn't know anything about them, but I wrote them an email and I went in also in my store and I asked Drew Barrymore and I asked uh, Jennifer Garner and I'm asked uh, Macy Gray and Lila Ford. These are singers and actresses. Right. And, and I asked them, would they be a part of a group that I would, I would create a fragrance, a signature fragrance together with them. They could be anywhere in the world. And I wrote an email and I said, how would you like to be part of a group that helps me create our signature fragrance? A hundred yeses immediately. And we went on for eight and a half months. I'm going to go through it. Wow. This was very critical. I had the, the young girl who I told you about previously who came to yep. us from Boston. She was on our team in our office. We then interpreted our question. We sent we sent vials of A, B, and C out, mm -hmm. unmarked, un unknown. Please try these A, B, and C and tell us about them when we ask questions. Right. Then we, we talked about their answers internally. So here is where art and science come together because uh -huh. we're, interp art, we're interpreting others' words to make a fragrance, a three-dimensional product out of some words that come through. Bottom line, at the end of of eight and a half months, I had an 80% agreement between 100 women. I knew now they were they You were knew women. that, yeah, that was a bingo. Because we asked. I know what their favorite color right. is. I know that because I asked. Right. <laughs> but anyway, there we had an 80% agreement on one fragrance called It, and I called it If, if. because there's possibilities. Yeah, it's I love that. Oh, I thought that was genius. It's, it's crisp. It's and it's and if you wear this, you know. Right. Every, every I like now it's genius. It's it's absolute so, genius. Honestly, that's how right? I made that yeah. one. But I've made many fragrances since, and we talked a little bit earlier, you and I, about Italy and being there. And I right. made five fragrances for the Masoni family, uh, the Masoni home in Italy. Yeah. And, and that I got to work together with Rosita Masoni on. So here's how that works. I talked. I'm going to use Rosita as the sure. As the, love her, by the way. The, I love her. What a and you say she's about she, 86 years old right now. And well, when I, I worked with her, she was really I worked yeah. With her in 2014, she was about 80. I just I just met with her last month. Right. And I I got to tell you, she, she is her her mind is so sharp. She is on it. She knows every fragrance. Right. She knows here. names, Latin names. She knows generic names. Right. And she just had me, you know, like, what, know. what is that? <laughs> Let me stop you a second before you move on. So what I'm getting from that, the teachable moment there is uh, you decided to do a focus group and a survey with 100 women and they told you what they wanted. So you knew right away, again, there was a bingo in there somewhere. You were on the right track and that's where what you decided to go with. We started the program by creating a group of fragrances and then selecting between that group three starting points, right. A, B, and C, right. sending those out. And then, and then everything that you said, it right. was, then, it was then an, uh, a focus group over the internet. Mm -hmm. Love that. We sent samples back and forth. Love it. We designed and we continued to go. And uh, that's a good way to capture. You know what? Good moment now for you to show it to us. I know you got a bottle there that you wanted oh. to show. I don't have anything here to I, show. I, so I want to show you, you. Yeah. I want to show you the, I, I just redesigned the bottle into white. Oh, I told you. Bring I it over in front. Still. Bring it over because we can't see. There you go. Okay. Oh, that's beautiful. So simple. So, so simple. Beautiful, but so that's simplicity. my ethos. I like simplicity. I like understatement, but I like beauty. And, and Bring it over. I, Bring it over. There you go. Oh, back to. Yep. Okay. Right there. That's perfect. Love that. Oh, that's so beautiful. Oh, is it I love, straight? It, love it, love it, love it, love it. And I love fresh and crisp. You know, I'm an, I'm an, I'm a, a vetiver lover. Um, I wore vetiver for many years and I love right. the light, fresh, crisp, citrusy. Got me all day long there. Yeah. And, and I remember vetiver. Um, so it, it's, I, I, all those notes, I've learned how to, how to understand them and how to live with them. And I found this as such a, a, a new art form for me, a new way to express, to, be creative. to express. It was, it was not only that, it, it was coming from a, a, a thought in your head 
to a three dimensional or four dimensional product because it even scent it smells. Right. So in addition to have uh, uh, hold it in your hand, you can actually smell it too. I know, so, that's awesome. Well, I'm going to stop you right there once again, because you know, that's again, I can't believe how fast six minutes go. It's just crazy how that happens. Wow. But uh, I, I'm, I'm absolutely adoring our conversation. And I love that I'm going to get when to what's back, <laughs> when we get back, I'm going to tell you how, how you start the process. All right. That'd be great. Everybody do not go away. There's a lot more to know and to learn here on In the Limelight with Ron Robinson. Hi, I'm Scott Sullivan. Most of you know me as the host of Mind Your Own Business right here on InspiredNewsRadio.com. I hope that you know that Inspired News Radio is a 24-hour-a-day, seven-day-a-week positive talk radio station. That's what we need right now is more shows that are designed to inspire, inform, educate, and motivate the world right here on InspiredNewsRadio.com every week. Brand new shows and great show hosts. I'm sure that you'll find something that you love. Continue to listen and please support InspiredNewsRadio.com. Okay, everybody, we are back with Mr. Robinson himself. Yes, 40-some years in the in the retail industry, a brand of his own. He's got flagship stores now and in Santa Monica, California, both oh, one in Melrose, one in Santa Monica. Melrose and Santa right, Monica. Manica, uh, Santa Monica. Yeah. Not only fashion, not only accessories, not only all kinds of really, really beautiful uh, products, but now moving into, fr not now, but as of recent, I believe, moving into fr fr well, fragrance, correct? Actually, next year, 2020, will be 20 years. That in we'll fragrance. Be okay. Is, fragrance. is If New? If If was my first fragrance okay. and my hero fragrance, and it was, it was launched in 2000. Okay. Is there, so now, wasn't there a recent, more recent fragrance? Yeah. That's our more, our, Yes, uh, we, we did. Well, we did one for our 40th anniversary last year. We called it Icon. Okay. And uh, the one just before that, in our 30th anniversary, we did one called Pearl because that's the gem for the 30th okay. anniversary. Right. And, and uh, so let's, uh, let me just use uh, an example of Pearl. So the Pearl, the Pearl is the, is the, is the gem for 30 anniversary mm -hmm. for the 30th anniversary i imagine that gem as a very simple and smooth and beautifully te not textured um uh, uh gem mm -hmm. and i also imagine it in my mind asian because pearl seems to start conjures up yes it does so all of those thoughts that I had had to be translated. I wanted to translate them into a perfume. So something elegant, smooth, simple, something that can be worn with a black dress or with a t-shirt and jeans because it works all those ways. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And something that has a heritage in the Asian community somewhere. So the notes that I used are uh, shiso leaf, S-H-I-S-O. Okay. As, as a chef, you will, see, or even as an enjoyer of Japanese food, you will see it in most Japanese restaurants. It's a, it's a, it's a herb called shiso, and it's somewhere between a basil and a mint, and it's the most delicious herb. Just taste it. You'll see it on the menu often with, mm -hmm. with, with your uh, Japanese with sushi or whatever. Okay. But we use that herb. It's fabulous. So that's one of my top notes. It's got this bright, fresh mint basil to sort of start and we combine that at the top with ume plum blossom an asian okay. plum blossom wow. and the center note is white peony oh that's and awesome peony. yeah you know we know the peony flower that big right. white sure. flower yep. that comes out once a year and um amber at the bottom mm -hmm. so the amber is the base note that holds up everything together the peony and the jasmine in the center of it, and then the bright notes at top to give it that. So, so here's a construction of a fragrance that happened because you imagine an object, <laughs> and and that's how these kinds of things happen. Right. I was saying before when I was talking to Rosita, I asked her. She said, um, "We made air, water, fire, and earth, the four elements." But Italian air, Italian water, Italian <laughs> earth, <laughs> Italian fire. So 
We mm. had, to, you know, it's different in right. whatever region you're in. Sure. And a signature fragrance for her. Right. And and I had to interview her and say, well, how? Give me some. Give me. Let's talk. And and we talked about thoughts that she had and and different places that she had been and fragrances that mean something to her. And then putting that all together and coming out with a fragrance that is balanced because you can't just, can't just put this stuff together. Yeah, of course. Well, it's all very fascinating. And that's how we are now pretty much at the end of the show, but I don't believe, I know, I know, but that's, that's how it goes. (laughs) Oh my gosh. I know that was so fast. Uh, I do want to uh, leave everyone though with, uh, first of all, one quick t- teachable moment, some some sort of entrepreneurial thing that you would like to leave them with. So maybe it's a mistake that you made that you wouldn't want them to see, or you know, uh, or like a really triumphant moment that you want to share with everybody. And then I want everybody to know where they can go to find you. Thank you. Well, I you know I I don't know if, if um, I think I reflect on this now a lot. Exactly your question. And I think one of the things that if I could help anybody in business, it would be be bold, be bolder. Because you have a shot, you have an opportunity. Yep. And, and even I want to be bolder today. Yes, and, I do. And, and, and I don't mean aggressive, I mean bold. Mm-hmm. I mean, those, those, those hard things that you want to come out with or you want to say or you want to ask for or you want to do, be bold. Yeah. Give it a shot. No fear. And I, I, I think that we have to, at least for me, because I, I, I had to get past that. And people would say, oh, my gosh, how are you saying that you want to be bolder? <laughs> Look what you've done. Yeah. I got to tell you, I, I, it's a teachable moment, I think, for others. And that's yeah. the point of life I'm in. Right. But I, I want to give the love back. And that's one of the things that keeps coming up for me. Right. Um, where do you get me? Well, if you're in Los Angeles, please come to Ron Robinson on Melrose Avenue or Ron Robinson in Santa Monica. Or if you're not and you want to be, go to ronrobinson.com. Right. right. And we, my fragrance company is called Apothia. It's A-P-O-T-H-I-A. It's a name I made up, and it's a combination of apothecary and utopia, and it's apothea, and we have an apothea.com where all of our fragrances and our candles that we've won awards for are on. And I just want to tell you, you're delightful. Thank, Thank you. So you. Much. <laughs> Thank you so much. I really do appreciate that. And that really is the end of our show, everybody. We had Ron Robinson in the limelight today. Um, he is Thank going you. to be in the magazine as well. You're going to be able to see not only hear him in the podcast, but he's going to be under the men we love section in the <laughs> magazine. Yes, absolutely. Thanks so much for uh, giving us your time today. Thank you, Clarissa. Really appreciate it. All right. Now. I am so appreciative. Thank you. Bye-bye.